what was it like when you were on Doctor Who with Sylvester? Was it, and like, how does it feel to be like the first companion that actually had a proper story that was like important to the plot? That was really great, wasn't it? Because you usually, I mean, I think the companions usually started off very well um, with the idea that there was a backstory, but then somehow that would get lost a bit and it would end up with the Doctor just rescuing the companion. Yeah. But with Ace, it was a different whole different thing and I of course I was so you know I was honoured to play the part for a start because it was such a great part to play but the stuff I had to do you know was so brilliant and, and working with Sylvester was wonderful as well. Yeah, it's just weird for me because my first memory of Doctor Who, one of my friends was here the other day um, he used to watch Doctor Who all the time. They used to go around his house and I'd go, what's this? It's not my sort of thing. And my first memory is with you and Sylvester running down this country road. And that's yeah. like my first memory of Doctor Who that I can remember. And it's just and nice And look at me. you now. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah, and, yeah, supposedly I'm David Tennant. I don't yeah. know, but um, it, that's what started off for me. So really thank Fantastic. you for that. One of the, oh, my, my first pleasure. memories was when you hit the Dalek with the baseball bat in remembrance. I think that's, one of the I think that's probably one of the high points of my yeah. whole life. There was loads of explosions in that. Did it ever get quite dangerous? No, because there was always very, uh, you know, obviously yeah. very good health and safety always around it. I mean, there was one explosion that we did in Silver Nemesis where it was bigger than anyone had possibly imagined it was going to be. And there was this huge mushroom cloud over the countryside for a few minutes afterwards. But no, it was always very, very controlled. And even though the visual effects guys were bonkers, <laughs> but they knew how to be safe. Yeah. So safely bonkers. Cool. Well, I won't don't take any more time because obviously you've got thank to you. But thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Um, how was it to finally be like accepted as a full member of the Torchwood team? Was that like the best thing ever? Um, yeah, I, don't, I don't even think he. I don't. I. I don't think he is part of the Torchwood team actually. Um, he, he certainly not. He, he, he helps them. When uh, when they're in trouble and if Gwen's in trouble, he'll help them. But I, I, I still like to think that Reese really is a part of the Torchwood team. I think he still he'll get involved with adventures over the years. But if Reese had his way, he'd be at home uh, in a normal job. Uh, Gwen being a normal copper looking after their house and kid. It's nice that you finally got the recognition and that he was sort of a bit more accepted for the big. Role I think it's nice. Did. I think it's nice. Um, it's nice to be involved in a bit of the action. Yeah. yeah. Very much so. So, from from my point of view, um, uh, yes, it is from a personal point of view. But from a character's point of view, I think um, the story works well when he's kind of in and out. Is it going to come back if sort of wants to be brought back? Do you think there is a chance for that? Well, I th I'd like to think there is a chance, and I'd like to think that um, I'd, I'd come back. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't think you could have Gwen without Reese. Um, so. Uh, I, I'm just, with the baby. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, he may not be involved as much, but he'd certainly be around uh, in uh, in their lives. I think they're a team together, Gwen and Reese, um, very much on their own team, really. So, uh, and uh, the relationship between Reese and Jack is always an interesting one to explore. So, uh, and yeah, if there was to be another series, um, and they did call and say, you know, we're going to do a torch with season five, would you like to be involved? I'd be, a, I, I'd be a complete and utter madman to say <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I love it. I miss it every day. Have you got anything else lined up at the moment, aside from all that? Um, at the moment, yes. I'm on tour at the moment with a, with a play. Um, I'm doing uh, Under Milkwood, and, uh, and I'm touring the UK with that play.